Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I am going to be taking you around my shelf, and I wanted to show you how I would go about watering my plants in pond versus my plants in Lega. There is a slight difference, and I do get some questions, so I'm going to try to answer them to the best of my ability in this video. So if that's something that interests you, then just keep watching. So first things first, we are going to head to the kitchen just to make our Dynagrow Foliage Pro solution for my plants in Lega. So that's one of the differences here. For my plants in Lekka, I do use the Foliage Pro Dynagrow solution. And for my plants in Pawn, I actually just use Pollen Spring. So you do want to follow the measurements on the back, but personally, I do not. I kind of just pour some in while I am running water so it mixes properly. Probably pour a little bit more than a capful, which is probably a lot, but I think my plants can handle it, especially the ones in Lekka. So what I find easiest is coming right over here with a little water bottle or any kind of size bottle you want to use and sticking it right in the nozzle of this jar. It's honestly the best water method that I found personally. It's super easy. Just turn it right on like that. Like, oh, how easy. So it looks like we do have a Daifenbachia in my favorite jar that is a little bit dry in Lekka. She's not completely dry, but at this point I do like to refill her reservoir at least up to this point, just so that I don't have to water her again for a while. Just going to fill it. Like so. And we can get this yellow leaf out of here. Just be careful with the sap of this plant because it is a known skin irritant. Next we have my Hartley Philodendron. Oh my God, she's so pretty. I don't know why I love this plant so much. So she is dry as well. Well, not dry. She actually has water right up to here, which is probably fine, but I like to keep her reservoir a little bit higher because her roots start up here. So I am just gonna give her a little bit of a topping off. I'm trying to wet the whole surface. I think that's good. There we go. Oh wow. I never let this Daifenbachia get this low. Like the water is literally down to here and her roots are up here. So I'm just gonna fill her up a little bit as well. I almost dropped him. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah. I think that's good. That's where I usually like to leave her water level, right under those top roots. Put her back in her spotty spot. Guys, look at this. She has grown so crazy. I don't think I potted her up with you guys, but she has grown crazy in the past like two weeks. I'm super pumped. Look how pretty this thing is. She is clearly in pawn. So we are going to use the regular water bottle water, pull and spring. This could be sink water, I'm not sure. And this is another jar that I have a hole in right there. You can barely see it, but there is a hole there, which honestly I found that I really like with plants in pond. So I just filled her right up to the hole. I didn't want any to spill out. And she has the cutest little water roots growing. Like, look at that cute little water root. Oh my God. Do you need water in here, sweetie? Nope. This plant I've had since like the beginning of time, literally. It's died a few times and came back. But honestly, ever since I transferred it to pond, I've never had growth like this. Like, can you freaking believe this? It does need a little bit of water. So this is getting regular water bottle water. All right, there we go. I just gave him a little sip, but it is up to here now. I might have to repot him soon. Give me a thumbs up if you wanna see that in the near future. I have a few plants that I'm gonna to have to pot up soon, so let your girl know. I literally never show this because, I mean, it was a water propagation for so long. I just transferred it like two weeks ago, 
but I am gonna give it a little bit of water because it put out a new leaf. Can you believe it? Look how pretty this leaf is. She drank her water so quick. Look how dry that is in there. Let's just give her a little whoop. I have this little Hoya, but it doesn't need water because these are really crispy, crunchy. I've been wanting to cut all of the bad leaves off and just keep the ones that came out since I put her in Lekka. And there's a bunch of new leaves. You know what? Let's do it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, you're bye bye. Bye bye. You have to go too. Sorry, sir. Imagine I cut one of the new ones, I'd cry. <laughs> bye bye. Look how cute now. All of the leaves are healthy. Don't mind this one, he's just missing a little color right there. But look at how cute. I like it a lot better now. I need a pot for him, like a cute pot, because this plant is too cute to not have a cute pot. <laughs> All those stalks, I'm so happy. So we're gonna give him a little bit of water. He is in Lekka. I gave him the Dynagrow Foliage Pro Solution because he's in Lekka. Doing extremely well. I need to get a humidifier though, guys. Let's see, let's see. Oh my God, guys, look at how long it's got. If you've been following me since the beginning, I potted these little cuttings up and look at what it's come to. I can't. You're so cute. Let's give you a little bit of water though. Refill. I just want to give her a little topping of the offing, you know? Drink. <gasps> Okay, that, that's definitely enough, that's enough, that's enough. I don't think I showed you guys, but I propagated my Hoya serpents and I transferred them to Pawn. How cute are they in this little, like, reptile-ish pot? Love it. Do they need water? Little splashity splash. My other Adansonii wide form propagations. I'm gonna have wide form everywhere, I'm so excited. You need water. No, she does not, but she has been in pond for a while and look at how she is. She's looking so good. I'm pumped. So I know this guy is dry because he's a heavy drinker and he's in this large pot with Lekka. So we are gonna give him some water and I can tell that this needs water by the weight, obviously. You should be able to tell how heavy your plants are when you just water them versus when you haven't watered them for two weeks. Just a little bit of water. Let's see if that works. Ah! And I like to do all around just to make sure it's nice and saturated. She's growing so crazily, which I'm very grateful for because all of those tetrasperma cuttings that I propagated all died, so. The other staked plant I have, how heavy do you feel? Oh, do you need water? This is my Cebu Blue Pothos that I potted up with you guys in my staking and potting up plants video. She's growing pretty wild too. Like she already needs a new pole. I actually might propagate her so I can have a more full plant like the one I'm going to show you next. But in the meantime, she is still on her little Lekka pole. I need more water, some more Dynagrow water. I'm just gonna, you know. You don't want your balls to be floating in here at all. If my balls start floating, I dump some of the water out into a different plant. My little cactus, I think I just watered this recently. So I'm not gonna put any water in it now, but she's so cute. I think it's the pot that makes it cute. Definitely the pot. Mrs. Fidel, she's one of my favorites and she's a little bit dry. She's a very heavy drinker though. So I have to keep my eye on this plant a little bit more often than I would like. There we go. I try to feel it out one third, one half of the way up. Yeah, she feels heavy enough. She feels like she's gonna need water in two days. I know you guys remember when I potted up my Cebu Boo Pothos cuttings. Why didn't you guys tell me that it would get this crazy? I'm so happy. I might even take some cuttings off of this one and propagate them like, what? She always needs water. If I can't tell by the weight because this is a more heavy pot, so if I can't tell by the weight, I kind of look into the Lekka. If I see some moisture on the top, I leave it alone. In this case, the balls are dry as a chip in there. So we are going to add some Foliage Pro Dynagrow mixture. We're definitely gonna need some more than this. So we'll just put that in and get some more water. Just gonna give her a little bit more. No floating balls. Back in your spot, you lovely beast. My Hoya Therpins. 
My little cutie baby. She's so cute, but she doesn't need water. I don't know if you can tell, but her water's like up to here right now. The potos we potted up in my last video. I'm just gonna give her a splash because she just looks. Ew, look at like this mold in there a little bit. I'm just gonna fill her up a little bit. <laughs> More water. This is another one we potted up. She looks so good. But she won't if I don't give her water, so. Yep, that's enough. This syngonium right here, I barely water, and that's so terrible. Like, the top of her leka is as dry as a desert. So I am going to give my other syngonium. It has a dead leaf. I'm guessing it's due to lack of water. So we're gonna give him some water too on top of his dry ass leka. Yay, nice and watered. Let's get this. That yellow leaf was kind of pretty though, not gonna lie, but she's gone and my plant is nice and watered. That was the last plant I had to water, but I did want to show you that my Monstera Alba can finally put out that leaf I was telling you about and it is gorgeous. I love it so freaking much, like, ah! So happy and you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's another bump because another leaf is gonna come in soon. How freaking exciting. That does bring me to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until my next video, bye guys. Oh my God. I almost like couldn't turn the thingy, the nozzle off.